So if you go to the matchup, Nola and Verlander, here's here's the main reason I think it's it's not a bad idea to throw Nola instead of Wheeler, even though Wheeler is the hottest starting pitcher in in all of the postseason. Nola's start uh, in game one against Houston, that last series of the regular season, he went six and two thirds perfect innings before giving up a couple hits um, and then coming out of the game. So um, they, they like that matchup. And, and before even kind of going back and analyzing that series, kind of breaking it down a little bit, I was like thinking to myself, you have to get Wheeler on the mound as much as humanly possible in this series. Um, and I think a lot of people would agree with that. But, you know, every I think that the, or I know that the Phillies have just as much trust and faith in Aaron Nola as they do Zach Wheeler, as they should. Um, but if you just kind of, if, you, if you're going off the eyeball test, I think there's a there's a vast majority of people out there that would say Nola is is the obvious answer for game one, just because you can get him back on three days rest if you need or or whatever the case is. 